Hello to all the wonderful Aptera investors, to my fellow Aptera reservation holders, and our Aptera curious friends. If you have not made a reservation and choose to, please consider using my link below to save $30 on your reservation. In this video, I'm going to recap the very exciting seventh week of Aptera Accelerator program. My numbers are based on the February 17th, 9 a.m. update, and nothing I'm saying in this video should be considered investing advice. For those who are not familiar with what the Aptera Accelerator program is, Aptera is hoping to raise at least $20 million to help them reach the $50 million they claim will allow them to start large-scale production. If you join the program, you will be one of the first 2,000 to receive your vehicle and get some special gifts based on your total investment in Aptera. To be part of the program, you had to invest a minimum of $10,000 between January 27th and March 26th. However, on March 14th, Aptera sent out mailings and posted a video that got rid of the program's deadline. So now the program will continue until all 2,000 accelerator vehicles have been claimed or they start production, I assume. They have not said what will happen if they start delivering before they reach 2,000 accelerator investors, but that is a bridge we hope not to cross. It was pretty clear that they extended the program because they were not going to raise the full $20 million in the next week as they were over 11 million shy of their goal when they made the announcement. They also were not close to the 2,000 investors as they had only reached about 550 investors. I think by announcing the extension this early, they have lost some revenue from investors racing to invest before the deadline, but they have increased their number of investors because people know they will get a numbered vehicle if they invest the minimum amount. Aptera is also raising money through Republic at the same time as the Accelerator program. You still have over five months to invest through Republic website. Republic is an investment aggregator that allows anyone to invest like a qualified investor in startups, crypto, real estate, art, music, and more. You can invest a minimum of $210 at $10.50 a share for 20 shares. On Friday, March 17th, Republic had 180 investors, which is an increase of 20 since last week. Aptera has also raised $1,245,090 through Republic, which is an increase of $44,000 over the week. If you invest in the Republic and are part of the Accelerator program, they will count both towards your vehicle rank. I have added a link to the Aptera investment page below if you're interested. With the announcements of the changes to the Accelerator program, Week 7 continued the upward trend of the investments from Week 5 and 6 as well was to already be expected. Week seven is the strongest single week of investments with over 1.2 million raised so far. Week two looks a little better now, but that is because people who joined that week have continued to invest more. Aptera is now 46% of their goal and should easily pass the 50% this week. If we zoom in and take a look at how much money was invested each week, individually, you will see how strong week seven really was for Aptera. A total of almost 1.6 million was added over the last week, making it the strongest week of investments except for the first week. The first week only raised about 250,000 more than week seven from a lot more investors. This bar graph that shows the cumulative amount raised each week shows how strong week seven was on its own. If not for the amount added by the week two investors this week, it would have been the second highest week of investing. The week one investors continue to dominate not only in total investment but investment added each week but they do have a very large pool of people to pull from for those who have been watching let me know if you like this update to the cumulative investment graph i think it illustrates the climb in investment pretty well things were still going strong after the first week and a half a bump at the end of this week going into next was expected but it is clear the announcement had an impact there is a sharp climb on march 14th when the notice and the video went out looking at the amount raised each day makes it even more obvious the 14th was one of the best days of investments outside of the first week and a half the other two spikes came from individual big donors and not from the number of investors that contributed this chart of the number of people investing each day makes that clear. March 14th tied the third most active day of investment with 31 people joining the program. The following days were also very strong, giving that week a high average number of people investing. If we look at the total number of investors that joined each week, it becomes very obvious how strong week 7 was. 
with 104 new accelerators, that is the second largest growth in investors. But it does follow the U-shaped investment curve that we were expecting to continue to the end of the program. Now that the program has been extended until they reach 2,000 accelerators, I would expect a downturn in the number of people added each week until we get close to the 2,000 accelerator and they confirm that they have secured all the investments needed to proceed to full-scale production. Week 7 saw a continued shift to new investors. New investors went from 162 to 211, which changed the percentage from 31% to 33% of the total investors in the program. It will be interesting to see if this continues with the change to the accelerator program. New investors can be sure that a minimum investment will get them a numbered car and they can't be bumped by a prior investor coming into the pool later. New investors still contribute more on average than prior investors as expected. Their percentage of the total investments continue to increase towards 40%. At this time, they account for 3.38 million of the funds raised or 37%. How do you think this will break down at the end of the accelerator program? The average invested per person each week still continues to vary significantly. I was surprised that last week had the lowest average per person of all weeks as it raised the second most of all of any week. But there was no large investors this week. But a lot of people continue to invest a small amount and with the second largest pool of investors, it makes sense. I expect the weekly average to stay low after the change in the accelerator program. What is the incentive to invest a large amount now? I will answer that in my next video. As expected, with no new large investments made, there was not too much action in the ranking of the top 15 accelerators. The one huge move came from RD of California. Last week, they just made it into the top 15 with a small investment of about $11,000 added to their prior investment in Aptera. But they decided to go big and invested over 73500 to jump 10 more spots to make it to the number 5 spot of top accelerator investors but that only bumped them to vehicle number 18. The real story is WG of Oklahoma, who was the third largest single investor last week. They invested over 52,500 last week to take the number two accelerator investor position. But that is not the biggest news. That investment launched them five spots on the leaderboards to break into the top 10 at vehicle number nine. Nothing else happened above them, and we have a newcomer to the top 15 with JR from Utah in vehicle 11 with an added investment of $10,069.50 to join the Accelerator program. So last week we saw an anomaly with Vehicle 69. JG of Connecticut had it by investing $41,999.79, even though two people had invested more and were positioned below them. Aptera has seemed to have kind of fixed the glitch that probably rounded their investment up, and they now have Vehicle 77. But the numbers are out of order, and they should probably have vehicle 79. Also, it seems as if they have cloned themselves as the next person in vehicle 80 is also at JG from Connecticut. Currently, vehicle 69 belongs to JC of California, but with the indefinite extension of the accelerator program, it is unlikely to stay that way. Another vehicle of interest is vehicle 420, with EG of Minnesota holding that position right now but they're tied with six other people, so one investor above them is going to make a huge shift in who holds vehicle 420. Of course, one of the most exciting vehicles, and I think probably the one to have, is vehicle 88. Right now, KQ of Montana has it, and that's definitely not going to last. It'll be very interesting to see who ends up with vehicle 88, as I think that will probably be the most collectible vehicle since that's the number that they've used in videos so far. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, like and share to help our channel grow. And below you'll find links to our website, evolveelectric.org, our Twitter and Instagram.